Welcome to another short news overview. Similar to the previous video of that it's frustration frustrating with this paper launch of MDs and uh, NVIDIA's latest GPUs and CPUs. It's a similar situation with the Samsung 980 Pro with Norbis PCIe 4, which I actually was waiting for. And before everyone goes out buying those, I wanted similar to summarize some news. So I would have loved to test and benchmark this myself, but similar to the AMD CPUs and GPUs, couldn't even get one yet because apparently the supply is similar limited. I wanted anyway to summarize for you and spread awareness because uh, the thing is you would expect the, the new generation is usually faster and also PCIe 4 is certainly higher performance than P previous generation PCIe 3. However, that is not the case. If you take a look at some benchmarks here, like here also there's some summary of uh, data sheet stuff and, and, and power consumption and so on. If you then look here at the benchmarks, um, it came to my surprise that this Samsung 980, also where is it even? Hello. Um, hello 980. Um, is not necessarily the fastest. You would think so the latest and greatest model. Um, PCI fear for uh, no less by the way, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they measured here with PCI 3 for compatibility. But anyway, um, some Intel Optane, uh, yeah, no surprise there. Uh, Seagate, Kingston, SK Hynix, Gold, and 980 Pro. And so compared to the previous models, like near. Nah, pretty close, uh, if not slower than full, but also here in some other data rate, 970 even Samsung, even the E4 here is faster in empty uh, average data read and um, it full then maybe eventually faster, but now nah. uh, also the, the other one here, Samsung, 970, one terabyte, and also 970 Pro. So yeah, to my surprise, let's get better, better get out and um, buy the uh, the latest 970. Um, however, spoiler alert: the previous generation is even still more expensive, right? So what is the 980 about? The 980 is maybe mostly about cost. You would think, yeah, latest and greatest, higher performance. And whatnot, but shocker, it's barely faster in some cases, usually even slower. And why is this? This is because where do we have this? Uh, somewhere it was written here TLC. Um, so the issue is that they went from um, previous 2 bit per cell um, MLC to uh, like multi level to TLC to a triple level. So that is here the uh, SSD technology that all the vendors are working with. Previously, initially, a decade ago, one bit was stored in one flash cell, but due to cost and uh, capacity reasons over time, the vendors developed new processes and internal uh, constructions of those cells to store not one single bit but two, three, four or soon five bits per cell. Actually I'm not entirely sure if they mean bits or uh, does it even directly relate to bits. Um, this is levels, what can you call this? Anyway, um, so this means that for example instead of using z like z ground and um, ground and VCC, um, multiple states in between, so that one cell can hold not only one, like zero and full scale, but uh, different levels in between. There, um, multi-level cells reduce the number of MOSFETs required to store the same amount of data than single cells. So due to that, this is of course uh, going from MLC to TLC to triple level, uh, lower the also uh, lowers the cost, um, decreased cost, but also unfortunately lowers the theoretically endurance, also obviously is still covered by warranty, but yeah, um, so much to the pro cells. So yeah, that is really unfortunate. You can't even 
get them and then well sure they are they are theoretically che uh, cheaper um, but yeah they are also not necessarily faster well they are, they are kind of similar performance depending on what exactly uh, you read write and uh, so on but uh, where is here some mixed read write performance what do we have here um, also in some total list. Well, it means they're not totally slow, but they're also not like um, What is here by the way? Oh, this also, here's you have a direct comparison. So the difference between PCA 3 and this mixed 4k random read write um, So this is the same 181 and PCA 3 and 4 so 436 to 495 sure it, PCA 4 can make it a little bit faster but compared to the previous generation, it's like here, something. even the EFO, it's like, yeah, beaten. It, you know that the latest generation is not the super most state-of-the-art and amazing, and it's mostly cheaper than if the previous EFO beats it. But where's even the 970 to the... Also, here yeah, it's an image, so uh, web technology in 2020 can't freaking make... If this would be my site, well, it's an amazing site. I can totally recommend it. But if this would be my site, I probably would work on making this text. Where is 970 Pro? Uh, 970 AFO. Don't really see it right now. Why don't they have this here? Do I overlook something? 980, 70. Ah, oh, here's the Pro. Uh, so actually, okay, compared to the previous Pro, it is a tiny little bit faster, depending on yeah. It depends, all right. Read, write, what do they have here, right? So they have 470. Where would be the um, 970 Pro? Yeah, compared, it can be, depending on the situation, can be faster, can, can be slower. Um, but you mi mixed, mixed test, mixed results. Anyway, you get the idea. I also mostly wanted to shout out that, yeah, be careful what you order. Uh, read the fine print, read some benchmarks. I've, I love to shout out to this um, obviously amazing previous video. Mac also um, a 12, 14 M1 review, but otherwise I would love to benchmark it myself together with AMD GPUs and CPUs if I could just order them. But in general, um, of course, I'm sure they will survive a couple of years. This is also crit uh, my criticism with the Mac ones. Are also, one, <laughs> one last bit while we talk about this. Um, we certainly have the time for that. Um, oh, let's use the, just for better international sake, let's use the English one. Um, so yeah, be careful what you order for, read the fine print, um, re read some overview, subscribe to channels like this or read other amazing websites. And don't forget to like and subscribe to probably benchmark this sometime soon here with Linux and stuff. But uh, one more thing uh, as per usual here, why I'm not the most impressed, previous videos, so many issues with Apple even um, soldered on things and performance imports and stuff. But the Apple, while we talk about SSDs and flash rides, the Apple storage prices still come at a premium. These prices here are, which I also partially covered obviously, um, these prices here are just uh, hilarious. Um, for 400, so one terabyte. So the latest and greatest Samsung 980 Pro one terabyte is listed around 200 something euros here. So 200 something, 200 something dollars, whatever, maybe uh, you get the idea. And when you then do Apple prices, right? So this is two times that. And if you factor into account that this is plus, so you, the base is 256, gigs and so this is like on top of that makes up that makes the prices you could think on a first glance the prices are twice market rate for other pro silicon flash pro flash silicon but no the prices are more than double because you need to subtract this so basically if you if you scale this linearly um which does it even it sort of does if Will, will not really, it, it flattens a tiny little bit, but basically 200, 400, it's like double the storage, double the price, but you need to factor into account that this is like half the storage. So if we factor in $100 for that, uh, for that scaling, then 
as this makes this 512 300 dollars and the one terabyte 500 dollars these prices are in my opinion just obscene because as i said you get for 200 you basically for 500 you get a two terabyte worth of samsung 970 pro previous generation um, so yeah prices are double so much to all those in the apple relative distortion field of va arm silicon mac whatever um, steve jobs gives us one more thing but yeah be careful what you wish for what you order here and uh, by the way um, shipping here one business day unless you want to have some more memory than this is three to four weeks it's like thank you very much actually um decided after all maybe i get one obviously if if i get one for uh, exact code and exact scan and stuff probably we should have one but i was a little bit late because couldn't really get it over me ordering giving apple more money money but this is also crazy that um yet yeah, three to four weeks not really sure what's going on there um if they don't cannot source more memory but storage i would get only the base storage and use it as least as possible plug there something else in because this price is again obscene ripping off prices and last but not least i said this a couple of times on twitter and previous streams sold out on flash um this is total plant obsolescence and money making business from tim apple there because this as seen here in this article um endurance and limited number of write cycles so um, we have here cycles of uh, endurance uh, tlc somewhere it probably should have been on the first side because i said this be where is it here somewhere should be um, of endurance probably when a warranty it was to regress warranty so it is still still uh, theoretically endurance so all of all of those flash whether it's from samsung or the samsung integrated circuits sourced by apple and sold out onto the logic board limited number number of write cycles so it is hilarious and outrageous uh, not only that they charge you a premium for soldering that to the logic board but if you use this as a pro machine five years of software development uh, movie editing or whatever uh, the write cycles are eventually uh, exhausted and the flash worn out and at that time you basically better hope you can no, i'm not even sure if you can boot this arm max from external storage but maybe you can't i don't know leave in the comments below due to the locked bootloader i boot switch situation and who knows what not um and also the firmware I'm not sure if the firmware boot firmware resists on maybe maybe there is a dedicated uh, serial flash for that uh, you would hope but in any case they might sooner or later as all the modern i devices phones tablets and now macs become rather expensive and fancy aluminium paperweights because yeah good luck and as seen with serialization it's not even for sure that if you do it at home with your hot air station or give it to louis rossman that just soldering with hot air new um, flash onto the board that you can revive this as we have seen at apple's part serialization and stuff maybe it will not even accept swapped out flash ships for that's not the serial number locked to this uh, boot process and uh, before the security obviously not that the nsa nsa secret service comes to your um, home and swaps there the flash for <laughs> hacking and cracking your device obviously it's for the security uh, people uh, if, in case you're new and uh, apple fan then that was a joke um, it's obviously profit maximization. Anyway, long story short, not impressed here of surprising and so on on the stuff and also not of the performance. Um, so probably I can still order some 970 Pro, which actually are still stocked. Anyway, that's the summary for today. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, also, maybe that uh, if you're new to all of this and usually look, look, look onto your PC and gaming consoles from a higher level, 
and this internal workings. You might, might be surprised of things like multi-level cells that not only zero and full-scale voltage, but also other in-between and soon peta-level cells for PLC. And um, although I think this bit stuff is confusing, I probably need to research this. I don't think this levels, if this are three levels, I don't think that maps to three bits. But in any case, um, yeah, I hope you learned something from this kind of thing. Also, by the way, fun fact, I re just recently learned here that um, reading over this stuff some, some days ago, the Intel 8087, I didn't even know that the math coprocessor of the very first, well, very first kind of PC used 2-bit level cell technology. Who knew in 1980, one of the first devices on the market used multi-level ROM cells, uh, later demonstrated 2-bit multi-level NOR flash in 1997, and NEC demonstrated quad-level cells in 1996. And um, yeah, so this, this means for the floating point um, internal uh, microcode here for who knows what. Um, do they have this even multi or ROM? Do they have here from approximately no ROM ROM? Do we have here ROM? No, but here's extracting ROM constants 8087 coprocessor die. So uh, in floating point, point processors, do they have here? Do we have here this on, on this amazing article level of four level um, large four level, do they mean this implementation post script now holds constants, large four level microcode, uh, constants such as p, ln, square root, and needs for computations. Anyway, I hope you learned something um, and uh, this gives you some insight of what to choose and stuff. The Graver rights picked up, uh, picked them up because 2012 OC set Vertex 4 died after eight years, continuous use. Yeah, um, so there you have it, one simple point of eight years of use. Um, why isn't two uh, also someone with a lot of Unicode stuff that doesn't render fully? Um, why isn't two-bit cell called dual level if the large numbered cells are also... Yeah, uh, this, uh, I, I totally agree. Uh, probably initially they might even thought as per usual. I was thinking exactly the same, but probably it was one le uh, single level and then multi-level. And so I, I would also in retrospect re rename this. Maybe they didn't think they go further than multi, like two level. But yeah, totally agree. Valid, valid comment. and. Yeah, in retrospect, I would personally maybe call this dual, is it sing, single, dual, dual quad? Yeah, probably dual level um, something. And uh, I think they, yeah, they even call this multi-level cell MLC. So yeah, totally agree that is confusing and should in, should in retrospectively renamed for um, more clarity. Um, uh, Marco says RX 6090 uh, 100XT hits 3 gigahertz according to tech tubers. Yeah, I saw uh, my neighbor's Der Bauer video of complaining he can't overclock it further than 2.8 or something. I'm not sure if uh, if they reach 3 gigs if they can't adjust it in the um, overclock software. Um, And the Graver agrees Apple's SSD prices are just daylight robbery. Yeah, Raycom, um, Apple fans uh, applauding the $100 cheaper Mac or something due to not paying Intel tax, but yeah, still paying Apple tax, obviously. Um, 970 Evo NVMe is the fastest. Well, it depends. Um, I'm also surprised that the Evo can be as fast. You would think the Pro is faster, but maybe this is addressing of the uh, triple level versus dual level cells, maybe. But um, if you need maybe more write endurance and guarantee for that, then the Pro, of course, is still the Pro choice to go. Um, and um, what else? We have tends to use HD4 kind scratch storage. 
Does Matthew mean for Mac or something? Oh, it's across quite a few disks with RAID. Price is ridiculous for anything new. How does a phone store? How does a phone store? J, J Bauture. Sorry for probably mispronunciation. So, a phone, uh, of course, if you mean a mobile phone, obviously there uh, is no space for a rotating hard drive, right? Um, unless you want a rotating IBM um, micro drive or something, but even then it was, was, uh, would be sicker. Of course, all, most mobile tech nowadays anyway uses flash for everything. Uh, this also means if you uh, pro video edit on an iPad for five years, then probably the flash is also exhausted. Um, it's annoying that on modern phones you can't use SSD card. Um, speed, math, math, speed difference, so usually SD is slower because it's a serial uh, protocol, also relatively high speed. Of course, nowadays SD relatively fast, but um, parallel, um, probably parallel, whatever, flash um, should usually be much faster than an externally interfaced serial high speed clock thing, but probably doesn't matter much in praxis, but anyway. Um, when you were talking about killing an SSD over using, like using that mini for too much work. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it for uh, today. Um, maybe this is, maybe I hope you learned something, like maybe this multi-cell stuff, and in general that uh, new, um, New products do not necessarily need to be faster. Also, uh, yeah, getting blinded by, hey, it's PCIe 4, but yeah, performance-wise, yeah, anyway, previous gen. There probably uh, will be next generation stuff on PCIe 4, so don't buy this for better performance. Unless, yeah, it's cheaper, but your endurage, endurance might vary. Uh, I hope you learned something and um, found this useful. As usual, leave me what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you soon for all the next talks and open source Linux and other microkernel tech talks.